Come see me on tour in a city near you, like Los Angeles, California, San Antonio, Texas, Louisville, Kentucky, Minneapolis, Minnesota, St. Petersburg, Florida, Utah County, Utah, Tacoma, Washington, and more. Get tickets and check out my new merch at jeremiahwatkins.com. You're watching Stand Up On The Spot, but are you subscribed? That's the question. Leave a like and a comment before you go. Now enjoy the show. What's up, Comedy Store? How are we doing tonight? <laughs> Welcome to Stand Up On The Spot. I'm your host, Jeremiah Watkins, and this is how the show works. We, the comedians, are coming up here with no prepared material. We're going to ask you guys, the audience, for suggestions. You're going to yell stuff out, and we're going to create Stand Up On The Spot based off of what you yell out. Who's ready to kick this thing off? What do you say, huh? <laughs> All right. Uh, what do we got? <laughs> Mosh pits. Mosh pits. Heck yeah. Um, have you ever been to a Christian mosh pit before? It's a, he's like, no, dude, total atheist. What's up? <laughs> I went to a Christian rock concert. <laughs> Humble brag. <laughs> they don't let just anybody in there. They, they do. They're looking for anybody. To join the the following, um, but uh, the difference between a regular mosh pit and a Christian mosh pit is when somebody falls down, everybody goes stop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's mosh for the Lord. <laughs> right back to it, dude. You, you nobody gets hurt in the Christian mosh pit. It's a supportive environment. Makes you feel good. Nobody has bloody noses. The only person bleeding in the mosh pit is Jesus Christ on the cross. That's the only person who's gonna have a little bit of blood. Uh, next suggestion. Camping. Camping. <laughs> By the way, it's the 13 year anniversary of the show, guys. How cool is that? 13 years. We have a phenomenal lineup tonight. I'm very excited. And that was my way of dodging camping. What else do we have? Burning Man. Burning Man. Burning Man. Burning Man. Do you think those people should be lost forever? <laughs> do you think they, they, we should just leave them? You know what I mean? Submarine 2.0, baby. <laughs> this is how we thin the herd, is just letting these idiots die off. Submarine, Burning Man, different big events. Let's let let's just let keep people dying. All right, let I'm all for it. Clean it, clean it up just a little bit. Some big Burning Man uh, fans in here, I guess. <laughs> or some people not a fan of euthanasia. <sighs> Either one. Um, yeah, I never saw. I don't know. I never wanted to be uh, to dress up like one of the sand people from Star Wars uh, for a weekend <laughs> and pay way too much money for everything and just live in squalor and be like, isn't this amazing? <laughs> Meanwhile, homeless people are watching the footage on the news outside on the streets. They're like, people pay for this? <laughs> I live Burning Man every single day. I, my life is on fire and I can't get the curse of out of my head. <laughs> Uh, next suggestion. I thought I killed that. <laughs> what else we got? Merch. Merch. Uh, what else we got? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll take merch. Um, there's nothing more defeating as a comedian after you know you have a bad set when you know you still have to sell merch after the show. <laughs> it's so freaking defeating because it's like the people think that you aren't aware <laughs> that you didn't do good. All right, so you're just sitting there by your freaking dumb table with maybe your face on it or your name on it or something, and people are walking by like. <laughs> and you're like, hope you have a good night. <laughs> Lots of sizes, si sizes available here. If, any if anybody wants it. But you you'll sometimes get a sympathy buy where it's like a sweet old lady 
It's like, keep the dream alive. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what America's built on. You know what I mean? Just the little engine that could. Just trying to sling merch after shows where you know you bombed your dick off. <laughs> uh, next suggestion, what do we got? AI robots. AI robots. <sighs> Would you have sex with an AI robot, sir? Probably not. Well, is that your girlfriend? Good answer. <laughs> He's like, I mean, if it's boys night. <laughs> uh, I think that women would be more standoffish with the idea of AI robots making love to them than uh, us as men. Uh, Ma'am, would you, miss, would you consider having uh, fornicating with an AI robot? May, oh, okay, I said miss, and then he was like, I'll take this one, babe. <laughs> babe, I got you on this one. Maybe I would, maybe I would. Shut up, it's guy time. It's guy talk right now. <laughs> yeah, I got my answer pretty quick there. Would you have sex with an AI robot, miss? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Wow, somebody found their soulmate. <laughs> what a cool down chick. Just ready to go. Uh, but it would be weird if the AI got sentient enough where it was making the decision to spit or swallow. Because I can handle a human woman being like, mm, this is gross. But I don't <laughs> I don't know if I can handle a sentient robot being like, this does not take you have disgusting cum. I don't know if I like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm 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 sorry. I'm sorry. What other suggestions do we got over here? Sports injuries. Sports injuries. You're right here. You didn't have to disguise your voice. <laughs> Sports injuries. Not from the guy wearing a baseball jersey. I tore my Achilles on the way up the stairs to the belly room. Didn't want anybody to hear about it. So I figured I'd throw my voice from one side of the room to the other. Do you have anything on sports injuries? I could have been something. <laughs> I had all the potential. I lost it right as my team went to state. It was devastating. <laughs> Guys, that's how the show works. We already kicked this thing off. What do you say, huh? All right, uh, your next comedian coming to the stage. I absolutely love watching this guy here at the Comedy Store. He's a paid regular. He tours the world with Burt Kreischer. Please welcome the great Stephen Fury to the stage. Come on, Stephen Fury. What is up, everybody? Yeah. All right. What's up? Okay, let's just jump into it. So nervous. Jury, jury, so, duty. jury duty. You know, I I've skipped every jury duty notice I've ever gotten. <laughs> they gotta find me, dog. <laughs> you gotta find me. I'm not just show up for a paper. I need authority. I need a phone call at least. I want a text. You know my number. You got the little blessed kid thing that they text you about. He said, don't go to molest. Didn't he say that earlier? Or gang? Okay. All right. What's up? Nice Kobe tattoo, man. Where are you from? He's like, Utah. Nah, New Zealand. New Zealand. Okay. The Utah of countries. <laughs> <laughs> so I was pretty close on that one, man. All right. All right. All right. What else we got? Everything bagel. Everything bagel? <laughs> Okay, I like that. I think that that spice is getting a little too much credit on things. Anyone else? They're throwing it on anything. I saw on TikTok someone did an everything orange. I was like, this is the grossest fucking thing I ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Y'all jump the shit with everything bagels. Um, everything bagels. I like everything bagels. I think fennel's a little powerful. <sighs> I've been anti-fennel for a long time. I don't know. This is the, I mean, I've been waiting for someone to bring this up, to be honest with you. And I think we need to get together. Call Noah. Anyone got Noah or the Einstein brothers on the phone? <laughs> Call them. We address the fennel in the other. This is the thing about everything ba bagels. We, maybe we don't need everything. Let's have a something bagel. <laughs> Let's have a particular where we get to choose. Uh, right, let's go. Top five everythings. Onions. Onion. Goddamn right. That's the guy in the back. He knows his flavors. Cheese. No, cheese. I don't think cheese is in everything bagels, doc. <laughs> you a fucking fraud. It's like cheese, jalapenos, pepperoni. I'm like, that's a that's an everything pizza, sir. <laughs> you just got a combo. Onions first, sesame solid second. Who knew sesames could come that hard, right? <laughs> Sound a little racist. I don't know about the ending there, but all right. And then the rest goes, there, well, there's some poppy seeds. Those guys don't do a lot of work, but they show out. You know what I mean? Like, you feel a poppy's presence, but then you're like, did you even come to work today? We've been hanging out in the bathroom the whole time. All right, next one, let's go. 9-11. 9-11, okay, cool. Um, <laughs> um, nah, I can't make that funny. I mean, I could, but they're recording this right now, so I don't want... There's a whole half of the state that'll get mad at me for that. So anything else? UFOs. UFOs. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm in. I've always been on in on UFOs, you know? And I like how we're addressing it now. It does seem a little shady, though, doesn't it? You know, it feels like... You know, if, like, your girlfriend was... It feels like the government's trying to give us a little switcheroo, you know? It's like if your girlfriend caught you cheating on her and you were like... I saw an F UFO. <laughs> Y'all worrying about the small things on this planet. I'm talking about intergalactic warfare, Jennifer. <laughs> Y'all need to stop worrying about my pedophile islands and the companies that pay for the government and all the things that we're doing in Hawaii right now. There are UFOs. <laughs> A lot of the weird shit is when they keep finding all these pyramids, you know. Okay, that's all I had on the pyramids. Man. <laughs> pyramids keep popping up. You guys know about this, or you guys not on the right TikToks? Okay, there's they got more pyramids in South America. They're popping up in the jungle. They're on the same fucking little linear thing as somewhere else on the other side of the planet, and they're talking about shit happening with aliens. So, I think the government's cheating on us. That's what I think they're doing right now. In the other few, it's a good, it's a good one though, you know. I do like that. I like someone, you know, in the government. They're just like, listen, we can't. The people are gonna rise up against us. They're running out of money. We have pedophile islands. Everything. The guy's just like little green men, and we're like, this guy fucking got it. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Let's do one more, or let's do a bunch until I get out of here. <laughs> El Salvador? What'd you say? El Chapo. El Chapo. You see, his wife just got out today. Did three years. Yeah, you're, you're a fan of El Chapo's wife. <laughs> he was like, I've been writing letters for about three years now, and I'm ready for that one. I love El Chapo. I love all this. I, you know, it's you know, he did. Ter you know, I mean, all of his sons, the Ch Chapitos, they're fuck. That's actually that's actually their name. They're in Mexico. They're really fucking up the country. Um, well, I like him because I love how he just brings dirt bikes in the stuff. You know what I mean? Like when That's like my most favorite thing when he... Could you imagine, right? You've been in jail for like three years and then your buddy breaks you out and he's got a fucking dirt bike for you to ride? <laughs> there is nothing more freeing on this planet than to be like, so long, suckers! Yeah! Just flying down a hole. You ever look at the... <laughs> you ever watch the... Uh, you ever watch the video of him escaping jail? Oh, he you can tell he's about to do something. It looks like he's it looks like he has to throw up. He's just like going like this over and over again. And he walks around and he walks over in the little hole and he just goes. <laughs> he just fucking Super Mario out of a fucking thing. And he grew big, ate a mushroom, rode a fucking dirt bike. 
He's impressive, though, because there's a lot of turnover in the Mexican cartels. I get really into this kind of stuff. You know, Los Zetas died, um, so many of these guys. And Chapo just still fucking bangs. And then his wife got out, my favorite thing. She goes today, she's like, I don't want my kids, my daughters, to grow up in the same thing. And he, I, she's doing that. She's just putting on, like, gold necklaces and fucking <laughs> loading shotguns. I don't want my children. <laughs> In a fucking Bentley. Like, okay, all right, Miss Chapolita. What else we got? Crypto. Crypto, fuck. Dude, I got I got my I got all my shits taken from me. <laughs> I got I got scammed online twice in a week. I should have known, bro. I should have fucking known. This is a true story. I've never really said this on stage. This dude calls me and goes, hey, bro, I'm from your credit card company, and um, so you have some fraudulent charges in Bakersfield? I'm like, are they fucking hiring cholos at Amex night right now? This is the craziest thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> but I was like, you know, maybe this is like some work program. I'm not trying to be racist. You know, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy this dude found a way out. So I was like, yeah, man, hell yeah. Oh, what's happening in Bakersfield? He goes, someone uh, bought a cruise and bought some sneakers on your credit card. <laughs> I was like, okay, you know, that could have been me. That does seem like Steve Fair activities, but I wouldn't be in Bakersfield, so that's fine. And then I go, okay. And then I heard, I heard a dog bark. <laughs> and he was like, shut up right now, dude. <laughs> and I was like, damn, they're bringing dogs to the office at Amex. This is crazy. Bro, he got me so bad. Then he goes, what's your social security number? And I was like, what? And he goes, Please, can I have your social security number? And I was like, okay. And they got it. <laughs> I'm just too nice. You ask me anything, I'll do anything you want to do. He took my shit. That same week, I was making money on Facebook. This one fucked me up. That dude stole my identity and then rang up like a bunch of credit cards and really fucked me over. But. I still have my nut in the crypto thing. And you know, I, I invested in like the bigger coins. I wasn't doing the smaller ones. A lot of Ethereum, a lot of Bitcoin. And it was still doing fine. And I was trying to make money on Facebook. Okay, and at this time, about a year and a half ago, Facebook was paying dumbass money. At the time, I was making like 1200 bucks a month. Well, to me, that's dumbass money. You know, throw away money, 1200 bucks a month for some videos. But I couldn't get my money. So I look on the internet and I go, I go Facebook's phone number. And the first thing that popped up said Facebook's phone number. And I call it, and it goes to an Indian dude. He's like, hello? And I'm like, this seems right. This seems like, <laughs> at least not Cholo. At least if this makes more fucking sense than the fucking Cholo guy. Okay, India. And then he goes in, he's like, well, we're gonna, I'm not gonna do his accent. Um, <laughs> probably shouldn't have done the Cholo one, but you know, it's not that bad, I guess. And then he goes, we're gonna have to verify you by you logging in your Coinbase. And like I said, I'm just like, yeah, okay, man. That seems, it does seem like a more secure thing to do. And then I logged in and I saw my number, my 16,000 going down. And I remember at the end, I was like, please just don't do this to me right now. <laughs> so in one week, I lost... $25,000? And this is my only job, so like for me to get $25,000, it's not like an easy thing. <sighs> Let's get Jeremiah up here right now, bring back a little more positivity. Keep it going for Stephen Fury, ladies yes. and gentlemen. We will be passing a hat out if you have any crypto, throw in the hat. Some people are suffering from being very gullible. Wow, that was like watching one of those movies where you're like, no, it doesn't end there, does it? <laughs> no, 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 the credits, the credits are right there. My girlfriend left me and now I'm here. So once again, dollar a person will allow me to get lunch for the next week. Uh, so uh, Steve and I are going to grab uh, some suggestions together and see what we can do with them. So uh, what do we got? Trademarks. Trademarks. Okay. Have you ever had a good enough idea where you're like, I think I need to get it? I did. I thought I had an app, and I think this app still would have popped 
It was 10 years ago. It was called I Hoops. And what you did is you it had a map of all the basketball places to play basketball in the in the area and you would mark where you were playing. So people would know if they wanted to play basketball, they would go to there and then you could rate the other person and so you know who was actually good on at playing basketball and playing pickup hoops. <laughs> Someone else stole that idea too. <laughs> I don't think I'm good for the internet. You know, I think I'm like a pen, pa paper and pencil kind of guy. No, no, no. I think once Ethernet's getting in trouble, I lose all my fucking money. <laughs> Grinder, they're like, let's cut out the middleman and uh, <laughs> let's just suck a dick in a bush real quick. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's not play Stick the that. basketball. Let's not rape people. <laughs> we'll just let people know where we at proximity wise. Yeah, it was Grinder for basketball. That was the tagline. I mean, <laughs> that's what it sounds like yeah, to me. It didn't sell as well as you think. You know, yeah. people are like, because as soon as I heard about it, I'm like, okay, okay, because yeah. I'm a big, like, I love basketball. I played basketball earlier today, yeah. and I'm like, this app sound a little gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did. <laughs> I didn't think about that, but yeah, no, I could see how that could be the basis of maybe Just human trafficking DMs. organization. Ooh, I want to touch your balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got dunked on last night by this guy. Huge center. Posterize me, daddy. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh, what else we got? Barbie. Barbie. Did uh, you have? Do you have any sisters? No. Uh, but I had a lot of Barbies. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That, no, but big fan of Barbie. I thought that movie fucking slapped. I think a lot of people did. Yeah, but then like a lot of dudes were mad, and I'm like, this wasn't GI Joe. Like, what were you expecting the message right. to fucking be? There's a pink box with women taking pictures. People are dressing up, and I was like, I can't believe they did men like this. I'm like, it's not that bad. You're like, I'm upset. Funny. That was the only pink box I saw that whole movie, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> suck, man. Just suck. <laughs> That's oh, true. <laughs> yeah, my, my sister had a bunch of Barbies uh, growing up, and I remember she had the only one that I thought was like cool was she had a shaving doll Ken. That you, <laughs> that you that you could shave like like see you remember the shaving doll can't you had that one yeah you could shave the, like the stubble the beard on the side and it would be clean shaven can and I was like this is the coolest feature that's what my freaking dad does he yeah. shaves I love like if you lose the razor it's just divorced dad Ken he's just like <laughs> yeah yeah uh, where are my kids that's what all he says uh, when he touches back she took all my money. Divorced dad, Ken. The eyes are always like slightly <laughs> squinted from the light of the fridge open at 2 a.m. <laughs> Just peering divorced in for more beer. Dad Ken. It's like, divorced dad, Ken's dating Stacy now? What the fuck? It's a deep cut Barbie joke. Don't worry about things. It's a booker in the back. It's the only, it's the only laugh I needed. <laughs> Just got a main room next week. That's what that dude, means. Killer, dude. Killer. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Hurricane Hillary. Uh, Hurricane Hillary? Uh, okay. Didn't finish as strong as we thought it was going to. Just like Hillary. That's a hack joke. I'm yeah. sorry, guys. Um, I want to apologize for the kind of hack material I've been bringing tonight. Uh, Hurricane Hillary. Yeah, it, it, it affected some people, but in L.A., uh, I feel like that was when people like were like turning up, being like, uh, that's yeah. all you got. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we keep hearing about these hurricanes yeah. down in Florida. I mean, out in L.A. <laughs> we know how to handle our business. <laughs> I know. I did like how what DeSantis was like. If you guys have a problem, he knew it wasn't going to be a problem. So he was like, if you guys got a problem, we'll help you all out. But when we have another hurricane that ruins every city here, you got to help us out. We're like, nah, man, you can keep that on yourself. <laughs> yeah. We good. We good. We're good, DeSantis. Uh, let's grab uh, one last suggestion. Sneakers. Ellen. Sneakers. And what else? Sneakers and Ellen. Um, I'm surprised I, Ellen doesn't have a professional sneaker. <laughs> you would think she would have a dancing shoe. Yeah, it's like an Allbirds. You yeah, know? It's yeah. Not very, not very much class to it. Loud, yeah. maybe squeaks. People get angry. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it's kind of rude sneaker. Yeah. <laughs> like like you tie the laces and you hear a voice that says, "Don't look at me." <laughs> <laughs> hey, those are nice shoes. It just says, don't look at me. So it says on the back. <laughs> yeah. As you're running away, don't look at me. <laughs> That'd be cool. I My mom was all about Ellen. This, But this is how uh, Kansas mom's brain works. My mom wrote a letter to Ellen saying that she should check out my comedy. Like, nice. as just like a supportive Kansas mom. Mm -hmm. And then, shocker, 
Ellen didn't write her back. And, and my mom goes, I will never support that woman again. <laughs> And this was before all the Ellen yeah. stuff came out. So at first my mom looked crazy, but then everybody's like, oh, your mom knew the whole time. <laughs> your mom's like, you know, I called Ellen about, uh, called that she was a bitch 10 years ago. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> guys, keep it going for Stephen Fury. Thank you guys very much. What a great show. <laughs> Are we having a good time so far, ladies and gentlemen? All right, this next comedian coming to the stage, uh, he is not only one of my personal favorites to do the show, he's an audience favorite to do the show. Uh, he's a regular at this point. He's done more episodes than any other comic. I love having him here. If you don't follow him on social media, you have to. He's got a movie coming out very soon. Look out for him. Please welcome my brother, Tony Baker, to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, come on. Come on. All right, guys, bring that shit on, huh? Hmm? Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton, man. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton, huh? Dolly, Dolly's in the news. Uh, she was cute back in the day. She had them little dimples going, man. Forget the titties, man. I didn't know she was... Titt titties aside. I didn't know she was that cute, man. She in the dimple coalition, man. I saw some old pictures of Dolly Parton. I was like, yo, Dolly, man, Dolly was right. I mean, no disrespect to how she looked now, but like, you know, back in the day. But she always been stacked though. Like before stacked was a thing, she was stacked. She came in breast first, nine to five. <laughs> nine to five, and she was just proud. Like I got big ass titties, you see what's going on, but get this personality. She let you know personality was king. Cause you forgot all about the lust. She was just like, I like Dolly as a person. <laughs> You look past the titties and was all in. You're like, Dolly Parton is a good time. <laughs> Not everybody can bypass the sex appeal and go straight into the personality. Dolly did that. And I feel sorry for women with big boobs because it looked like a burden. <laughs> like big titties, man, that get on your nerves after a while. I'm sure, ladies, y'all be like, God damn, just take these off. I know y'all want to take them off when you get home. Especially when you stack, you just want to throw your titties on the couch and just relax. <laughs> Flat chested, just watching TV like, God damn, sick of that job. <laughs> titties just on the couch. Somebody come over, oh shit, I didn't know you was coming. What's going on, what's going on? What y'all doing here, they all lopsided. What else we got? Passport bros. Who? Passport bros. Passport bros? Is that what you said? Yeah. Passport, bro. What is that? You don't know what that is? No, that's why I asked you. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> What's passport, bros? Passport, bro. Like, like dudes that are going to other countries to get chicks. Oh, is that what's going on? That's what's hiding the street? <laughs> Let's go to Amsterdam, bro, and pick up some chicks, huh? Hell yeah, man. That's a big trip, man. You can go to Bennigan's, man. Go to Bennigan's, Applebee's. <laughs> the club why we gotta go <laughs> overseas <laughs> let's get them london chicks bro they're all in over there that's a long ass trip for some chicks <laughs> what if you go out there and fail you know you strike out in london you went all the way to sweden <laughs> got stiff on the whole goddamn trip that's a long plane ride of defeat I didn't know that was a thing, passport, bro. I'm not that passionate about picking up strength. I don't like approaching women I don't know. I'm not comfortable. Because it's forced conversation. I like organic convos. You know what I'm saying? I never feel right just rolling up so. You're standing here, huh? <laughs> I like standing too, yeah. Man, fuck out of here, man. It's gotta be organic, man. I hate that forced conversation. Because I can't roll up and say what I really want to say. You know what I'm saying? But like, you just gotta force the conversation. Now if a woman comes up to me and be like, man, did you see the Batman? I was like, oh, thought you'd never ask. <laughs> I came all the way to Amsterdam for this conversation. <laughs> Passport bros. I need to travel more for fun, though. I travel for work as a comedian, you know what I'm saying? But I need to go just for fun, you know? Because when we travel, if you look at the life of a touring comedian, it looks like fun. 
But we don't truly relax because we're thinking about the show, whatever show we have. You know what I'm saying? We could be somewhere. Like, I got a show in London next month. Yeah, you in London, but I'm going to be like, oh, the show in the back of my mind. When you just go on a trip with no agenda, not even picking up women, <laughs> that's when you truly relax. <laughs> I need to take a trip, man. You know what I'm saying? Amsterdam was a good time, though. I've been there. Great time. We went out there, no agenda, just to go. Red light district I was going. I was shy with the prostitutes in the window. I was shy, man. They was just standing there in the display case. I was like, oh, hey. <laughs> Every time they looked at me, I folded up. Oh, oh, she's looking at me. She's looking at me, guys. <laughs> it was funny, though. I noticed the, the disparity in who was looking at me. Like, the white ones wasn't really looking at me. I was like, oh, that's what we doing, huh? <laughs> when I went down the black corridor, they was all in. I was like, see, the black women love me every goddamn time. So I took one of them over to the, to the white girl window. I was like, look, she feeling me right here. <laughs> Bigotry, goddamn it. You could have made some good money. <laughs> what else? Steve Irwin, Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris, and what else? The Cowboys. Cowboys, I'm gonna do Cowboys, Kamala. Wait, you, you said, uh, you doubling up? No, I didn't double up. Oh, you said that. Okay, all right, Cowboys. <laughs> Cowboys, I'm a big fan of Yellowstone, the show. Kevin Costner, I like that show. I never thought I would. I'm like, I don't give a damn about Cowboys in Montana. 12 episodes later, I'm like, man, this is good as shit. I wanted a horse, I wanted land. I wanted to just be fighting, duking it out for no reason. Cowboys are thugs. They were the original thugs, man. You see Cowboys, they be looking for trouble, tight ass jeans, dirty trucks. They just rolling up, spitting tobacco, breath hot. I'm like, man, thuggery. <laughs> Little ten gallon hats, man. Look out, man. This a rough, li it's a rough living, man. Getting up early, tying up animals. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. That ain't the life for me. You get up at the crack of dawn, you're chasing animals down, tying them up. Hell no. <laughs> Eating a hearty breakfast of steak and eggs. Spitting tobacco out while you're doing everything, roping them down. Hell no, man, I'm out. Sleeping outside, thinking you the shit. This is what, it, this is what it's all about right here. Looking at the moon. Every time you watch a Western, they eating beans and shit at the fire. <laughs> Always eating beans in a little tin bowl. I'd be like, man, the beans. Now, that's when they reveal, you know I killed the man, right? <laughs> <laughs> he came down, I, I just shot him one time, he just died slow. I watched him die off. <laughs> Want some more beans? No, man. <laughs> I'm nervous out here, man, it's just me and you. I saw pieces of Brokeback Mountain. I didn't know, I didn't know the smash was that graphic. And <laughs> this is where I knew they was really fucking. That little one scene where <laughs> He spit on his hand to get the lube for the, I was like, oh, they really doing this. <laughs> you had to lube up the shaft. <laughs> Shit, broke back indeed. <laughs> I wanted them together, man. I wanted that relationship to work, man. <laughs> I did, man. I was like, man, Heath, man, quit being stubborn, man. Just give in. Cause Jake was all in. Jake was like, I wish I knew how to quit you. God damn it. Like he's man, come on, man. It was heartbreaking, man. Then he died and shit. You be like, God damn, man. <laughs> I cared about that relationship on the cowboy tip, and it was refreshing to see cowboys gay. <laughs> it was, man. You know what I'm saying? Cowboys get the blues. They want some. They want some male cheeks every now and then on them lonely nights with the with the roped up animals. <laughs> You're like, Jasper, you looking kind of good there roping up them animals. Hey, you know, I'm just out here, mm -hmm, out here indeed. It's <laughs> a lot of gay cowboys y'all don't know about, man. Speaking of the cowboys, they tore the Giants up this weekend. <laughs> 40 to nothing, jeez. Uh, I think that's it, you know what I'm saying? I got the light, so uh, let's, let's welcome Jeremiah back up, man. My name's Tony <laughs> Thank y'all, man. 
keep it going for Tony Baker, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Jay got a haircut, Joe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Clean up a little bit. I like it, man. Yeah. You yeah. clean up well. Oh, thank you. Thank you know, you. Uh, I killed a man. <laughs> Pass me those beans. <laughs> Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we can do together. Patrick Mahomes. Patrick, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes. Uh, One of the worst accents in football. It's so bizarre it how that him. guy talks. Man, it don't fit him. We're just trying our best out there. <laughs> I threw the and, ball. Uh, I threw it about, you know, with third and 14. I just yeah, threw it. You uh, know, you know, you feel me? You know, sometimes the first uh, game of the season, you just, um, it, things just don't happen. <laughs> Some players don't need to talk, man. Just throw the football. Yeah. Even in interviews, just throw the football back and forth to the interview. Like, nobody would be surprised if he was a secret voice on Sesame Street. Like, he oh, was a absolutely. puppeteer. <laughs> absolutely. For one of the people. Mm -hmm. Nobody would be surprised. That's Jim Hen Henson's illegitimate son. Not a lot of people know that. <laughs> Yeah, he he's a uh, he is so popular. So I'm from Kansas City. Mm -hmm. He's so popular in Kansas City that uh, they got a Whataburger there for him. Really? Yeah, because they want him to be happy there. Wow, they You're damn right. Yeah, yeah. You got two Super Bowls under uh -huh. his watch. Well, I, could, I was really hankering for a Whataburger, <laughs> but oh, right away, Mr. Bones. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's earned it. He's earned it. Hell Two yeah, Super Bowls man. for Kansas City. Might win another one before you leave. I know. We'll see. Yeah, I like the fact that you're from Kansas City. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Midwest. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like how y'all beef though in Kansas. I know. That's silly. The Kansas, Kansas the City. The Kansas. Beef. Yeah. It's it so makes, silly. It, make, it makes it's divided by a river. In Kansas City, Missouri, they want ownership of the Kansas City name. I know. But Kansas is actually in the name of the city. I know. So Kansas, the state, should be like, no, it's our city because our name is in the city. Yeah. If you want to get Missouri City. So the reason why. <laughs> hey, I'm here with you, bro. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Like, if I'm, you want to change it to Missouri, we'll get off your back. So I guess how the story actually goes is that Kansas City was first a city on the Missouri side, and then then Kansas heard that it was starting to get popular, and they're like, well, that's our city name. We're gonna call us Kansas City. So that's where the beef started, is they, they parodied themselves. They wow. took it from Kansas City, and then they're like, no, 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 we're the real Kansas City. That's why there's that beef. That's bullshit, though, for Missouri to be like, you know what, fuck the state next door, Kansas City. Why would they, <laughs> why would they name it the neighbor? In their face, too. Nah, yeah. Kansas City, bitch. Yeah. Stay on that side of the river. Yeah. But it's our name. Fuck yeah. That's like naming the son of an illegitimate child after the person you cheated on. Right. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> That's right. This is Rodney. You have any problems with that? <laughs> Spitting in their face across the river. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Cats. Adam Levine. Cats and Cats what else? Adam Levine. Cats and Adam Levine. That's a funny mix. I'm a cat person. I got two. I got a tuxedo cat and a black cat. Giving back to the black community, goddamn. <laughs> black T cats matter. <laughs> black cats matter yeah, for yeah. sure, man. Yeah, yeah. They get a bad rap. They be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? The bad, bad luck. luck. Bad luck. Man. Exactly. That's bad press on them. I know. But then I'm thinking, I'm like, yo, what if what if my cat is fucking my luck up? <laughs> He crosses my path every day. Every day. On purpose. On purpose. I he even see snuggles him. up next to you. Yeah, he walks past. He, he makes sure to walk this way. I'm like, are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> Think of all the ladders out there with bad press of people walking underneath them. Yeah, yeah. And why the black cat got to get the bad press? It could have been the orange tabby. It could not It could have been the all white cat. You know, all white cats, they say they're what? Uh, deaf? Like they get horrible hearing? Really? Yeah. I found that out recently. I was like, white cats? I was like, they're out here disabled. <laughs> but nobody talks about that. They sweep that shit under the rug because he white. <laughs> but the black cat is, oh, 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 yeah, bad luck. Right. Halloween, scared shit. Yeah. The witch's companion. Yeah. But the white cat over here disabled, man. He can't even hear you. <laughs> but in the press, it's all good. Whites. <laughs> Racism, man. Hey, it, it runs strong through. Man, tough. <laughs> Even in the cat community. People get up. Pe <laughs> people get upset in chess that that the white pieces go first. See, oh, see, you can't escape it. 
The thing about a black cat, man, I see his booty hole far too much. <laughs> Well, sometimes because, that's all I can see is his booty hole. Because it's like a void of, yeah, uh, it's just of like, color. Midnight, and you just, in here, booty hole. I see you. I see you, Midnight. <laughs> and then Adam Levine, he's in the Maroon 5. Are they still a group? He went solo? He went solo, yeah. I think, <laughs> think he's better than the rest yeah. of the group. Huh? There's always a Beyonce. There's, there's always no the JT. Way. There's always one person in the group who's like, yeah. I can hit a higher note than you. <laughs> But I, I feel like this, like, because he's the only one that's ever really sang, right? Adam Levine? Yeah. Out of the Maroon 5 guys? Yeah. Well, that's the only one that we know out of the Maroon 5 guys. So I feel like... I don't even, I don't even know if there's five guys in Maroon Me 5. Either. I have no like, idea. I, I, I got no clue. No, I just know about Adam Levine. Me too. Yeah. So I feel like if we only know you, stay in the group. <laughs> I mean, that's like walking out on your kids. Yeah, it's just like nobody knows the rest of the group. Just just stay in the group. It's the same difference. Yeah. Do you think all those boy bands, when that the, like the prodigy broke out, it's like, bro, what else are we going to do without you? Because <laughs> at least with NSYNC, I knew the rest of the group. Of course. I knew Joey and goddamn... Uh, JC. Lance. <laughs> I had to get to it. I'm like, Joey, Lance... Who was that other J.C. Shazay. And what was the one more? Kirkpatrick. Chris Chris Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick. Yeah. That last name is hard hitting. Mm -hmm. like I knew them. Yeah. So it was like, but with Maroon 5, it's just like Adam Levine. Yeah. Five like times. And the, the guys in the back. Right. It's like Sade going solo. Mm -hmm. she's, only, she's been the only one singing the whole time. Right. So it's like Sade was a solo album. We thought you was solo the, the whole, whole goddamn time. time. We thought we thought that was your backup band no, the whole it, time. It was the same band, so yeah. But are we right? Did somebody else sing? Well, I said him because he cheated on his wife. And then oh, he scandal! After the spouse, like the, like the Wait, he cheated on his wife, and what happened? And then named his kid after his like mistress. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Uh, so all yeah. of a sudden that guy gets a, a dart to the neck that says Levine on it. Just <laughs> nobody Yo. else knew that in here, and this guy's like like spreading Yo. the bad word on Levine. He cheated on his wife and named the kid after his mistress. God damn, the savagery. Yeah, who is this man? You would think that he'd be a nice guy with how high he sings, but no. Hell no. The high pitch? Can you imagine? I mean, that seems like he would be a nice guy if you're like... Like, what? Yo. So wait a minute. So wait. Wait. So did they name the kid... Did she know about the mistress at the time of the naming? Or was this later on? She found out, you cheated on me with who? And then he revealed the name. And it was like, you named our daughter after her? Was it already after the fact? That's all I know. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> wow. I got blue balls on the story now. How convenient. I need the, the full The scoop. jury just went out to trial. God damn. He's like trying to, de like Adam Lee's trying to defend himself. Like, Megan is a very common name. <laughs> <laughs> What's the baby's name? Oh, man, think, man, come on, man. man. The game was nothing. Everybody's going to go home tonight and be like, what happened to Levine? I'm, I'm Googling the shit out of this. Yeah. I ain't never heard nothing so savage. Yeah, it's pretty bad. God damn. It had to be after the fact. There's no way she would allow that. Yeah. The mom. No. She'd be like, what you want to name her? After the mistress? Okay. <laughs> Hell no. That's fine. God damn, dog. Yeah. That's unreal. You got to be a millionaire to do that. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're you got to be worth millions. You're going to get killed immediately if, if, you're, if your original, your OG, found that out. Oh, my God. It's a done deal. Yeah. Like, Hell no. I wonder who I'm named after. <laughs> my, my dad told me that I, I'm named Jeremiah. I'm named after two people. The Jeremiah in the Bible uh -huh. and Jeremiah Johnson because he was a manly man. He was a man. <laughs> he was a man. You understand me? Jeremiah is very biblical and manly, though. 
Yeah, I mean, if I welcomed you over to cook some beans, you wouldn't think oh, twice about it. It's a cowboy name for sure. Yeah. Jeremiah, go rope that cow over there and uh, head back to the stable. Once you rope up them cows, we're going to go down there for some beans. And some, some hot sex. What was that last part, friend? Some hot sex. <laughs> Guys, give it up for Tony Baker. <laughs> How we feeling out there, ladies and gents, huh? Another one of my favorites coming to the stage right now. He's on the show in the past. He's got an amazing podcast called The Honeydew. You may have seen his YouTube special called Lefty Son. Watch it after this. If you haven't watched it yet, please welcome my brother, Ryan Sickler, to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Come on, it's Sickle Set. It's always something here at this show. It's always something at right? this show. Mm -hmm. Always brings up bad memories. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about uh, ketchup. Uh, yeah. My brother was in a spelling bee in like fifth grade, I remember, and he got out on the word ketchup, but it was the cats up version. They, they said cats up? They said ketchup like that. Listen, hold on. I'm I, Look, I'm standing up. I'm angry about that right now. That made my blood raise up. You're telling me they said catch up, mm -hmm. and he spelled K-E-T-C-H-U-P, and they said now. Nah. They go, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. It's actually C-A-T-S-U-P. And he's like, what? <laughs> Cats. And he went home. And See, he went home. This is what worries me about being a parent. I know you have two kids now. Mm -hmm. I worry about being that parent because if I'm at something like that and I feel unjust, I'm flipping tables. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, no, this whole motherfucking thing is under protest right now. That's how that spelling bee's going for fifth graders. Have you ever tried <laughs> ketchup on a, on, a, on a pretzel before? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it is so good. It's way better I, than mustard. I was in the back. Like, I don't know. I try Sickler on a lot of stuff, but this one sounds suspect. Nacho cheese. Yes. Ketchup. Yes. Oh. Done. You don't need mustard on, on a pretzel. You don't need it. Nacho cheese separ is, separately from yeah, the Yeah, you don't mix them. Okay. You're not mixing nacho cheese and catsup. Come on now, man. <laughs> living dangerous. For your assholes living yeah. dangerous. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got. Mari? Mari? Yeah. Like Povich? Like the Povich. <laughs> Who said that? You are not. Fuck, of course. Of course. The bass player from Maroon 5. Yeah. Maroon 4. My bad. Adam yeah, Levine yeah, yeah. left. Yeah. yeah. Over there, Mari. He knows Mari. He knows Adam, too. He Look knows all the dirty details. What do you love about Mari? Do you still watch? Is he still even on? I don't even know if he's still alive. <laughs> all right. If he's not on TV, he's not alive in my book, dude. There's a lot. What the? Wow. Yeah. That's a hard way to live. What did you like about that show? You just like seeing people's lives get ruined like that, just destroyed. Look at him. He's like, yeah, like, yeah. Man, that's my shit. That's Absolutely. my shit right there. <laughs> that's my shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You like that you are not the father shit? Did you have a pregnancy scare? <laughs> ah, I fucking knew it. You had one? Did she say it was yours? And was it? Yes. It was? What happened? She has like an IUD, like the device that's in her, and somehow like it's Wait, I don't need you to explain <laughs> yeah, to yeah. me hey, man. how to get a Listen. woman pregnant. Hey, this motherfucker's over here telling us how sperm travels past her fucking, her iron wall in her pussy. It's like, oh, well, the sperm pried it open and three of them got in there. And like, yeah, hurry up, guys. Yeah, held the door open for the other ones. <laughs> well, if you don't know how to get somebody pregnant, what happens is you insert your penis. Yeah. Have you an ever ejaculate been, comes out. Have you ever been to the bank when you need to put the things in the... <laughs> <laughs> That's how you... I fuck those. I fuck those. <laughs> Send that in. <laughs> what, you said it was a scare, so something happened, meaning... Where is the? Why is there no child? It just it took its own life. It just went away. He can't be my dad. Ah! Inside the room. Ah! No, he hung itself. He likes ketchup on pretzels. <laughs> ah! He can't ah! be my dad. He likes Mari. Oh! <laughs> Not the bass player. Not the bass player. <laughs> Woo! Mar 
<laughs> got dark as shit. Dude, over I've here, literally, bro. I've literally <laughs> never heard of anybody refer to an abortion as that baby took its own life. <laughs> took its own life, man. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Man, it just took its own life, man. There was a note and everything fell out of her pussy. Right there, it's like holy shit, man. He can write. What are you doing? This was a genius. <laughs> this child was a genius. Great penmanship. I could tell he's a lefty. Do you want to do one more? Should we? I mean, Jesus Christ. Let's do one more. Oh, no. He's done over here. <laughs> that guy, he's done. That guy's done. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> All right. If you're voting for him, I, I mean, think you got to let him okay, have Okay. One last bro. one You got one guy. more. Waffle House. <laughs> where babies go to take their own lives. The yeah. Waffle House. <laughs> That's where you could get a good abortion. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm. I'll take the number six, please. <laughs> And uh, meet me in the ladies' room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Waffle House. Like, it's interesting. Have you been to Waffle House? Oh, many times. I okay. love Waffle House. You guys House. been to, actually been, not just seen videos. You've been to Waffle Like, Waffle House, I think, is, especially late nights, really good food. But I think the fights are better. I do. I think the fights at the Waffle House yeah. outweigh the quality and taste of the food. When you can't afford pay-per-view, go to a Waffle House. Yes. Yeah. If you want to see people fight and, and ruin lives like Mari and shit, like they probably have Mari on the TV in the corner. Yeah. Okay, get yourself a waffle and chicken, heavy on the syrup, light on the catsup, and fucking just start swinging in there, Could bro. Could I do the not your father uh, <laughs> special, please? Yeah. You're not the father special? Could we uh, can I do the aborted scrambled eggs and the... <laughs> The zygotes. Uh. All night I'm gonna be thinking about the baby took its own life. Oh, dude! All it's, night it's, it's, it's like it's one of the darkest things I've literally it heard just, a human say. It just said I'm out of here. This With little a mom baby. like you, that baby brother, like that's so crazy. Oh, why you did all that work to slip past the IUD? I was telling them how. So you're not you're not the father. But you're not the father. <laughs> You're not a dad now. Okay, do you like that choice? Yes. How old are you? You you look like you're 28, 29. Damn, okay. Ooh. You, you Hawaiian? Um, half Tongan. Half Tongan. All right, we got to get the fuck out of here. Those, yeah. <laughs> Keep it going for Ryan Sickler, guys. Keep it going for Ryan Sickler. Wow, that uh, that just kept going, didn't it? <laughs> All right, we have a couple comics left. How's the energy doing in here, huh, guys? Huh? Yes. This next comedian coming to the stage, uh, I love watching this guy. Very excited for him to do this show for the first time. You may have seen him on the show. Adam ruins everything. Please welcome the great Adam Con over to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. <laughs> hey, give me over, Jeremiah, everybody. What a nice guy. So nice to invite me to do this show. So nice and yet so terrifying, isn't he? Isn't he? He's like the friend at the beginning of Midsummer. You guys know what I mean? <laughs> the guy who's like, come to the retreat, it's gonna be fun. And then you're stapled to a tree, that's him. Um, what do you guys got? What do you want to talk about? Psychics. Psychics. Uh, you know, I didn't uh, believe in astrology. I didn't believe in psychics until it became part of queer culture. Now I'm on board, all right? <laughs> Because I am an ally, all right? I'm no longer a skeptic. I'm just like, yeah, sure, fine. Um, my sign fucking sucks. Uh, my sign, I'm a Pisces. That sucks. That's two fish. That's bullshit. Other people are an archer, a crab. I'm two fish. Terrible. My girlfriend is a Gemini, which is twins. And she loved it when she found out I was a Pisces because she was like, oh, that's great. The twins each can eat a fish. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> It's terrible. I'm a lot, I, I am a lot like a Pisces. I'm slimy, I flop around in a bucket. Uh, next, 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 next. BTS. P- say again? BTS. BTS, the, the Korean boy band. <laughs> I have no opinions whatsoever. I'm, I'm trying to think, I mean, I do, uh, I, let's go, let's go. <laughs> what, what else you got? Say again? TikTok. 
TikTok. Oh, I do enjoy TikTok. I'm on there all the time. Here's here's my addiction with TikTok is because people think it's about the scrolling. No, it's about the posting. Man, it is. That when I post, I am locked on it all day, watching those likes roll in, watching that attend people, people focusing on me, just like give me that. You know, like I here's the here's the crazy thing, okay? Is that like Netflix had to pay me to get me to make content for them. TikTok figured out I'll do that shit for free. <laughs> They can just pay me in love and attention from strangers, and I'll just post very good. I, it's fun. Uh, I, I'm very good on TikTok, all right? <laughs> I do excellently on there. Here's the thing. You know how much you get? You get a million views. You get a million views on TikTok. You get $40. That's, this is worse than Uber. You understand? <laughs> This is the Uber driving of content creation. But imagine if everybody driving Uber, like 99% of them were doing it for free because they heard, oh, if you get really good at Uber, maybe they'll break you off a little piece, you know? Maybe they'll give you like 10 grand if you're really good at Uber. It's, ter it's a terrible, it's a scam. I'm on there all the time. I can't get enough of it. It's absolutely great. Also, the comments on TikTok, here's the crazy thing. The comments are always correct. I don't know why. They always have the right opinion. If someone is cool and funny on TikTok, people are like, yes, queen, that's awesome, good for you. If someone's being an idiot, people are like, fuck this person. I, I, I agree with them all the time. How do they know what I think about the person? <laughs> How do they know? Okay, what else you got? What else you got? Shapiro. Sh say again? Shapiro. Shapiro, the, is there a specific Shapiro? Ben. Oh, Ben Shapiro. The shortest and uh, most annoying of the Shapiros. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I wish I could. It, it, he's sort of like, he wanted to be a stand-up comedian, but he can't tell jokes, so he just talks twice as fast, you know? That's all I got. I was, He's, a, he's an inherently unfunny person. What, what, else, what else we got? Also, I'm sorry, why did you think I would know that you were talking about Ben Shapiro? There's other Shapiro, well, now I can't fucking think of one. <laughs> fucking Ben Shapiro. You're making me think, now I'm literally picturing Ben Shapiro's, I was trying to have a nice evening. <laughs> and now I'm here thinking about Ben Shapiro. Two hours about the Barbie movie. The guy made a video about how much he hated the Barbie movie that was longer than the Barbie movie. <laughs> just like, there, it's sexual politics. Just like, it's a, ni it's a nice movie, man. It's just, uh, you could learn something. Okay, what else we got? <laughs> Guys, th there's like, there's another comic after me you need to have s <laughs> suggestions for. This is the problem with the show is that most people can't come up with suggestions. Uh, some, just shout any word. Say again? Residuals. Residuals. <laughs> All right, we're into the strike content. Okay. Uh, no, this, th I'm going to, I can't get up here on a soapbox and start going. You know, when, when things move to streaming, like in the contract, it's a lot worse. You don't get uh, a payment every time there's a rerun. Now it's just a single pay. It's so, so fucking boring. Podcasts. Well, podcasts. <laughs> You guys are just like on a thing about internet content. We got TikTok, we got Ben Shapiro, we, we had residuals. Snow White. Snow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm overwhelmed. Snow White, Jesus Christ, and sneakers. I think if Jesus Christ was alive today, he would be a Disney adult. Don't you agree? <laughs> He'd be one of those people, we gotta go, see, we gotta go to Disney. It's my birthday, it's Pride Night, come on. <laughs> We're excited, I got special sneakers. I tied it all together, what else you got? Werner Herzog. Werner Herzog. <laughs> Werner Herzog. This is a man who hates the most wonderful things, you know? This is, you guys seen a Werner Herzog? Give a applaud if you've seen a Werner Herzog movie. All right, this is gonna be for the five of you. I mean, <laughs> this guy, no matter what it is, you know, you give Werner Herzog a puppy, he'd be like, the puppy is corrupt and debased. <laughs> it reveals the inhumanity of living things. I stare into it and in its eyes I see the abyss. <laughs> Let's bring Jeremiah back up here. Jeremiah, get up. Oh, no, he went in the back. Oh, my God, they're grabbing him. I saw the lights. Come on up here. Thank you. Keep it going for Adam Conover. Oh, my God. I had a great time. Heck, yeah.
All right. Let's see what we can do together. Yeah, sure, man. Yeah. <laughs> Chinese yeah. food. Chinese food. Um, one of the best ethnicities that have um, leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> They, their food keeps yeah. really, really well. Yeah. You China- all, well. How did they master it? What did they What did they do? You know what I love uh, about Chinese food? The MSG. I love fucking MSG. MSG, first of all, does not cause headaches. It's bullshit. doesn't make you sick. It's the thing that makes it taste good. You know what I did? I bought a fucking bag of MSG. I have it at home. It's a white powder. I sprinkle that shit like cocaine. All right? It's just... It makes everything delicious. You got to get it. It's wonderful. It's amazing. Uh, yeah. I've got a pack of carbs that I throw on things at home. <laughs> it's really, really... It's, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you the link. I'm going to send you the link. Dude, it's, you got to watch your macros. You yeah. need your carbs, your protein, your MSG. That's how you lift. Okay. <laughs> You've been doing like SEO spam all night. This guy's been like, Podcast. Podcast, online courses, make yeah. money online, crypto. Yeah. <laughs> Remember to renew your GoDaddy site. Like, what the <laughs> what the frick is going on with this guy right here? This, is, this, this guy's, he's doing Google AdSense, you know what yeah. I mean? He's getting 50 cents every time. <laughs> uh, what do we got over here? What do we got over here? Sugar Daddies. <laughs> okay, I love whoever's voice that was. Sugar Daddies. <laughs> Sugar Daddies, talk about Sugar it. Daddies, hey! Hey, bring me a, a feather boa and maybe some jewelry. <laughs> That's great. I mean, this is now... Th- th- this Sugar Daddy relationships are becoming mainstream, right? Like, yeah. people people go They're to find a, a sugar dating relationship. Yeah. yeah. I think that's great, but I want to be the sugar baby. I don't want to be the daddy. I think I want to uh, get the stuff. Yeah. And I want to I want to eat the pussy and get the jewelry. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm sure there's a woman out there that could arrange that for you. Come talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's figure. I'd love I'd love Hi, a life of luxury. I, I'm your sugar mama. Uh, <laughs> come on down and munch on my box, Adam. <laughs> Look, man, any heiress, come on, you know, Heinz heiress, I don't give a shit. Diamond people, come at me. Right? Why not? Why not? Let's get something new, for well, okay. the love of God. Yeah, yeah. Was it? The Olympics. The Olympics. Why every four years? Mm-hmm. Huh? Like, you know? It takes a long time to, like, destroy an entire city. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're like, they got to figure out where to point the laser, you know? To go like, Tokyo, <laughs> Like, do you guys know what's going to happen to L.A. in, like, 16 years? It's going to be a nightmare. Uh, They're just going to be hot Scandinavians just going, like, your apartment building is dust. (laughs) There is now a a ski rink here. (laughs) A ski rink. Yeah, that's what it's called. (laughs) (laughs) The slope is circular. It's weird. Uh, I remember as a kid a vivid memory of someone uh, running the torch that was lit Mm -hmm. through my neighborhood Mm. right by my house. Like I literally, we stepped out front and we were like, hey, the Olympics are That was just a guy on PCP, man. (laughs) That was just, where'd you live? By the trailer park? That's just some people, some firebugs. Oh, I I guess that was more than every four years. (laughs) I guess that was happening. Yeah, why'd that happen every Thursday? Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> uh, let's grab one last one. Jim Bros. What's this? Jim Bros. Jim Bros. There's been a lot of bro suggestions tonight. What is Jim Bros? Uh, I think uh, bros who go to the gym. Oh, Jim Bros. Yeah. He, you're the same guy who said Shapiro earlier. So I, uh, so I thought there's some guy named Jim Bro. Um, yeah. You know my buddy Jim Bro? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, we, uh, I mean, I, I, my favorite gym bros are the guys who uh, sometimes on the road, you know, I, I go to the hotel gym and I actually try to get in an hour workout. Yeah. And my favorite are the peop- the guys who walk into the gym. They're just like, just checking it out. Just uh, looking around. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go check out the pool. You know, I did it. I proved it. I, did, I can do it. I lifted the thing. That's, those are my favorite guys. Um, that's literally me at every hotel <laughs> that I go to. <laughs> I never, I never go and actually put in the time, but I'm like, huh, what do we got in here? Oh. <laughs> key card works. Key card, that's how you get What's in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a wait. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, give it over for Adam Conover. Hey, thank you, guys. <laughs> All righty, we reached your final comedian of the night. How's everybody doing right now? Are we good? Yeah. 
Amazing. Uh, this guy has an amazing special on YouTube called Getting to Know You. Uh, he's phenomenal. He did the show recently in Moon Tower uh, in Austin, Texas. I love him. You guys are going to love him like I do. Please welcome the great Ian Bag to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. It's Ian Bag. Hello. What's going on, people that couldn't afford to get in the main room? Losers upstairs. <laughs> There's a lot of dudes in this fucking room. Uh, who said, there you go. There you go, fucking a lot of dudes. And you brought headphones just in case you hate the show. <laughs> All right, good talk. <laughs> uh, and you're sitting at the front, but you seem very uncomfortable, so that should be a lot of fun for a lot of people. <laughs> What's that? I got to pee. You got to pee? <laughs> Not there. Fucking don't yell at him like that. We have bathrooms. I don't want to interrupt. No, no, we're, we're having this conversation about it, so you might as well. You might as well. Yeah, okay. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Oh. Well, it looks like your date's over, ma'am. Uh, is this the first time you've been on a guy with missing a tooth at the front? You don't know him? Oh, fucking good for you. <laughs> Things are working out just fine. It's better to be alone than with a guy with a missing tooth. Oh, who fucking know? Come on. They might go have corn later and there's just going to be a strip around it that he's missed. <laughs> uh, all right. I feel like you're all English or something over here on this side. Except for that one Latino guy. He's not English. Guy with a beard. Mormon? Or what's the deal? Dick check. Dick check? Is that what you just said? All right. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. Guy just told me to dick check. <laughs> Is that your name? Did I just touch my nuts and you just told me your name's Dick Check? <laughs> oh, man, where do you give these tickets away, fucking Jeremiah? <laughs> this is not my target audience. <laughs> I feel like this is more of a dentistry lab than a fucking uh, comedy show. You got a good smile, buddy. Fuck, you got a good smile. Are those yours? Or are they fucking, were you on meth for a long time and they made a TV show for you and gave you new teeth and now here we are, fucking sunset strip. All right, good talk. Back to the Asian girl. How long have you been Asian? 32 years? Fuck, you look great. What kind of Asian are you? If you're gonna be a restaurant, what type of restaurant would you be? Korean, north, south, <laughs> fun kind, happy-go-lucky. <laughs> the north kind, just hungry. That's a shitty restaurant. <laughs> just hungry and checking if the leader's enjoying it. <laughs> See, you guys only have one woman. What's the deal with that? <laughs> She's got a boyfriend, fucking tooth. She's South Korean. <laughs> Is this a make-a-wish that nobody's told me about? <laughs> like, what the fuck's going on here? And who sat this room? All right, fucking, you're missing a tooth? Come with me. <laughs> right to the front there. Smiles, everyone, smiles. <laughs> Look who's fucking focusing in on it. What a douche you are. Look at him. <laughs> Smile. That... That kid's right there is why you brush every day. Uh, what's the deal? What, what happened? Was it, uh, what, did you fight and you weren't good? Or do you really like candy? <laughs> Look, when they put you at the front, <laughs> did you tell them there was any sort of medication you were on? No, I did ask to sit in the back, but they're like, no, you've got to sit right here. <laughs> Fuck, I am going to talk with them afterwards. <laughs> Because somebody has fucked me over. There's a bunch of fun people with no mental disturbance going on in the back. And here we are, the fucking whole world's being shook right. I think I might have died on the way here, and this is purgatory. And I gotta get through you, and I get to see my grandma again. Uh, and I see you've also got knee things. Do you play volleyball or? 
You got hit by a truck? <laughs> is, is, are you serious? Hold, fucking hold on, guys. <laughs> have you, have you met, did you really get hit by a truck? Yeah. Was that the tooth as well? No, that was hockey. That was hockey was the tooth? Yeah. And then he got hit by a truck? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> are you insured? <laughs> yeah. Like, where were you when the truck hit you? Michigan. Michigan? Like the whole state? <laughs> And they just kept hitting you with a truck until you got out of that fucking state. You get to Wisconsin. Bunk, 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 bunk. <laughs> fucking like it. And you guys are all like, oh, don't pick on them. Uh, are, you, are you single? Uh, I, yeah. Yeah. Was she also in the truck accident? <laughs> How did you get... Look, don't come to a comedy show and be offended, okay, you motherfuckers? <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't know there was going to be jokes. I expected more riddles at this store. It says right on the front, it says comedy. It doesn't say riddle store. Riddle store is down the street. What do you do, tattoos? Other than not save your money well? Electrician. Electrician. And the way you said it, you're not from America. No. Where are you from? Thankfully, we've got free healthcare in New Zealand. Oh, you're from New Zealand? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Look what you would have looked like if you'd been in a different country. <laughs> Show them the teeth in your unbandaged knees. <laughs> There's no health care here, therefore bandage them up and take his tooth. <laughs> they probably use that to rebuild your knees. You're the six dollar man. <laughs> oh man, I'm getting more laughs over there. I don't know who you fuckers are. Uh, Dick checks talking to his buddy. <laughs> His friend with a massive mustache and the smallest gold chain I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Worst Italian ever. <laughs> it's a tiny, thin little fucking chain. He had hopes and dreams to be a guito. <laughs> Sadly, he did, just didn't make the money he thought he needed to get a chain. Are you Italian, sir, with all that hair? It's you, buddy. Feel down here. If, 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 if you feel a small little chain, I'm talking to you. I'm trying to avoid this whole conversation. Well, you're in the wrong fucking show. <laughs> Show's about talking to the crowd, and you're like, I don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> this kid with a concussion did fine. Now it's your turn. <laughs> and there's a South Korean that's actually North Korean right beside him. She's got a little disease inside her purse and the leader told her to bring it to the comedy show. Flick a flick a flick a. <laughs> are you Italian though? Or are you Italian? No, I'm not Italian. No, yeah, what, what, what are you? Spanish. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Spanish, Spanish you're like, Spain? Yes. <laughs> she got it right. The location. No. <laughs> I feel like we should do a 23andMe test on you right now. Because you are going to be surprised as fuck. <laughs> And you find out you're from the Czech Republic. <laughs> uh, how do you know, fucking Dick Czech? <laughs> He's your homie. Fuck, that's very Spanish. It's actually, it's actually more Mexican than Spanish, but anyways. Uh, oh, do you guys live in California or? Uh, yes. Whereabouts? Here. Los Angeles. Hey, 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 What's it? Gay. You ain't gay? No. Well, fucking, that took a weird turn. <laughs> Are you Italian? No, we ain't gay! <laughs> Pretty sure you're lying, you cocksucker. <laughs> that is one guy that just came out of the closet in front of his buddy. <laughs> we ain't gay! <laughs> Think they might be gay. <laughs> if there was a dick coming through this curtain, Oh, so you are gay. <laughs> you can stay in the closet all you want, but your buddy's little chain's gonna end up around your balls. <laughs> I don't even know if we're allowed to be filthy on this. Huh? It's like, I don't, some sort of guy named Jeremiah putting on a show. You know it's Christian. Uh, Jeremiah, I think you're gonna have to expand your fucking, uh, your mailing list, because it's, it's a weird crowd. <laughs> South Korean fucking toothless guy, judger from fucking New Zealand. 
We have free medical, therefore I can get tattoos all over my body. Blah, blah, blah. And then there's two fellas on a date, but not on a date. <laughs> one of them just trying to fucking wait for the other one to make a stick. Oh, oh I'll, I'll fuck you. <laughs> but I'm not gay. You are now. <laughs> and they're so hairy, they just get intertwined and fucking stuck together. I have to have a fucking neighbor come over and cut them out of each other. Uh, well, you guys have been uh, here. <laughs> and, I, and I had a lot of fun with you. Most of you. Some of you are a little weird. <laughs> Talking about those people over there, the Mormons. <laughs> but I'd like to bring Jeremiah back on, and we're going to have a little talk. We're going to have a little talk. Keep it going for Ian Bag, ladies now. and gentlemen. Now! Yeah. Can't even look at you. Disgusted by your crowd. <laughs> We're all going to the dentist tomorrow. <laughs> Have you ever been hit by a vehicle? Uh, no. When you're a kid, like a lot of people get hit by vehicles. You ever, ever, like when you're riding your bike and you're not paying attention? Just, Just fell off the bike? Yeah, that's a no. Uh, <laughs> I was hit by I, I pushed, uh, my dad was working on a, a car uh, when I was a kid and he had it in neutral uh -huh. and I had just seen the Superman movie uh, as a kid <laughs> <laughs> and I pushed our car into the street as a kid and I thought I was like superhuman that's so funny and your dad and your dad just lying on the ground and yeah, the car he, he pushed literally, yeah, he's like he ran out and he had to, he had to stop traffic <laughs> and, and get into the car my dad was uh, working on the car one day and uh, we lived in it we had a driveway and then there was a church across the street and, uh, uh, um, and we watched him and it looked like he was pushing the car across the street but he actually he was chasing the car it was in, it was in reverse he didn't know it was, he thought it was in park and he was pushing it across the street he was trying to catch it and he uh, ended up in a church <laughs> I was seven years old and that's when I knew Jesus wasn't real <laughs> Because Jesus should have stopped that car from coming across the street and into the church, Why right? Why didn't Jesus take the wheel? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Apparently these Christians don't believe with you, but yeah. fucking come on now, people. <laughs> uh, let's grab a, uh, uh, a suggestion. No, not from these people. <laughs> I've talked to them already. Their suggestion was, I'm not gay. That was their suggestion. I said, why you got that necklace? I will not suck your dick. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a suggestion. Oh, How wow. many years have you been doing this show? Oh, wow. Wow. Thank you. Jeremiah's been doing this show for 13 years, everybody. Wow. And the people of the Comedy Store wanted to celebrate you. They love you here. That's so sweet. Wrath loves you. The crowd loves you. I'm indifferent. We're getting but, closer as the days go by. Uh, but thank you to the Comedy Store uh, uh, to many here's, more years here at the Comedy Store. Thank you very much. Congrats. That's very sweet. Happy many shows to... No, no, no. Um, let's grab something. What do we got? Per Flat Earth. Flat Earth. <laughs> Obviously, All right. Ian thinks that everybody in this audience believes in Flat Earth. Do you, do you, does anybody believe in Flat Earth? Or... Do, Exactly, the way it should be. Right. Okay, but I don't feel like everybody's response was happy that everybody doesn't believe in flat earth, so I feel like some of you believe in flat earth. So let's fucking, flat earthers on this side, normal people on this side. Go ahead, bicycle. What would you do if you found out that the earth was flat? Nothing. I just keep on living, like fuck these. Like these people that have to fuck. I need to know. Fuck, you got shit to do, motherfucker. Get back to Dunkin' Donuts and finish your shift, you fucking weirdo. You think if the fucking earth turned out to be flat, you get to do something other than the shit job you do? No, you fucking don't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry. You... Just tired of fucking assholes talking all the time. Not you. I'm talking to the people. Right, 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 right. You wouldn't. You wouldn't want to go to the edge just to see was at the at, at the bottom. Buddy, I do comedy. I've been to the edge many times. <laughs> and according to comedy, fucking the Earth is flat because I've fallen off many times. Uh, let's grab one last suggestion, then we'll close out the night. Motorcycles. Bud Light. 
Bud Light. Bud Light. Motorcycles, Bud Light. Yeah, um, those are the people that drink Bud Light. <laughs> people with motorbikes. Cause. Um, so motorcycles. Yes. Um, you have to have a very specific license to drive a motorcycle. You sound like you're one of those people that follows the rules. <laughs> And have you, ever, have well, you ever ridden a motorcycle? I have, I have. I've fallen off a motorbike. I've been hit by a truck on a motorbike. <laughs> All my teeth. You are his spirit animal. <laughs> that guy looks at you like squad yeah. goals. Like, this is what I could have been. <laughs> when I first seen him, I thought he just had a bigger gap than me. I just thought he had a really big smile. You thought he had a big, really big smile? Yeah. I thought he believed flat earth. <laughs> Uh, you know what's weird about the whole you have to have a special license to have a motorbike? Well, aren't motorbike people, aren't they fucking edgy? They don't follow the rules and then, yeah. they, and then they follow the rules to get a special right. license? It's like, pick a side, fucking Johnny. Oh, I didn't pass a test. Well, I'll come back in a couple months and I'll try my hardest again. Yeah. I'll see you in three weeks. I'll see you but three they should weeks. drive away on their motorbike. I'll come back yeah. and do this test again. <laughs> do some do donuts in the parking lot. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. Guys, did we have a good time with Ian Bag tonight? Yeah. One more Here's time this. for the great Ian Bag. Thank you. <laughs> that was stand up on the spot. Did we have a blast or what? Yeah. Thank you to the world famous comedy store for being the, the, the home of the show and the sweet staff who got this sweet cake. And to all the comedians who did the show, thank you so much. Watch the show on YouTube every other Monday. We love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting Stand Up on the Spot. And come see us back here at the Comedy Store Live every second Tuesday of the month. I love you. Have a great night. Are you subscribed yet? Help Stand Up On The Spot get to 50,000 before the end of the year. And make sure you leave a like and a comment before you go. Thanks so much for the support.